Hey, what is good and what is going on? Jim Alfano here with the Brook Team and EXP Realty. Thanks for checking out my weekly newsletter and this YouTube video. Please do like and subscribe. I'm just going to bring you a quick value, uh, a quick nugget of value here. So what we have is some information about pricing segmentation in the market. So this is looking at the showing activity in Brookfield, Connecticut over the last month and in $25,000 increments. And what I'm going to propose to you is that we should no longer list properties like we're at the dollar store. We should list them in even increments because I'll show you in Zillow, uh, Realtor.com and Redfin. <clears throat> when people are searching, they're intuitively going to type in even numbers. They're going to type in 325, 350, 450, 400. They're not going to type 324, 299. That's not intuitive and they're not going to do it. And if you're using the scroll bar in any of these online search portals, they're all working in even numbers. They're, they're segmented either usually in $25,000 increments or possibly 50. Um, but here's my point. So if you have a home that's valued at approximately $350,000, and let's say you want to say, you want to visit the dollar store today and you're going to try and convince people it's not 350. So you list it at 349, okay? So when you list that property at 349, you can see here, we're going to catch the buyers. This is all the showing activity in the market of Brookfield, Connecticut. So you'll catch anyone looking 325 to 350. You'll catch anyone looking 300 to 350 because 349 is within that scope, right? But if you listen to 349, someone searching 350 to 375 or 350 to 400 will never see your property. It's a problem. Okay, so I think what we need to do is get our mindset to the modern day of internet searching and list it at 350. Because if we list it at 350, you'll catch all the people 325 to 350, you'll catch 300 to 350, and you'll also catch the market of 350 to 375, 350 to four. And if you look at the amount of showings in these two segments that you'd be missing out on potentially by doing 349 and three, instead of 350, it's, it's an error. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I I encourage you to to put in the comments. Uh, maybe maybe you can convince me. But I, I I've thought about this a lot, and I would be very surprised. Uh, I don't even know if, if I could see a real significant justification that's that's going to be motivational for someone to to really want to listen at 3:49 in that case. All right. So let me know. Uh, always looking to talk to people help you guys out you know when you and when you do look look here's zillow these are all even numbers i mean you could force the system and i was playing with this a minute ago you could type in right and you could force it to 349 but a lot of folks are going to pick even numbers just by clicking on them and if you were to, to go and type in a number do you really think people are going to type in 349 or is it more likely that when they're typing in the number going to type in 350 I bet they're going to type in 350. So, I mean, you'll find the same here. All even numbers. It's realtor.com and, and his right fan. All even numbers. All right. Encourage conversation. Let me know what you think. Give a call or text 203-408-1693. And I hope you have an awesome day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.